Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial by ITC Computer and IT Solutions in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric, and today's tutorial I will show you how to set up a Time Machine backup using your Apple Mac computer. So, let's begin. The best way to set up a Time Machine backup is to a hard drive discoverable on the network. Now, the specific hard drive I'm talking about is called a network attached storage device, uh, a NAS hard drive. N for Nancy, A for attached, uh, I'm sorry, N for network, A for attached, S for storage device. Now a NAS drive you can pretty much pick up anywhere. You can go down to your local Best Buy or any other electronic store that sells them. Uh, most likely you can pick one up at Best Buy for a couple hundred dollars or maybe even a hundred dollars. So I'm just going to show you on Amazon briefly what they look like so you know what I'm talking about. So that's not what I'm talking about. Hold on. Here we go. External hard drives. Here we go. So here's a NAS drive, network attached storage. And this is by Western Digital. It's called a MyBook Live and it's three terabytes of personal cloud storage. Uh, the reviews aren't too bad. It has a three star out of five. Um, you can see tons of one star, probably people um, that just weren't very happy with the product. and. You also have quite a few, or you have quite a bit of uh, five stars. So this is probably something you want to look into yourself. Personally, I, I'm a fan of Western Digital. Western Digital, I haven't had many problems with them. Um, but this is a three terabyte hard drive for one fifty four ninety nine on Amazon, and that is, I mean, that's not a bad deal. If you want instant gratification, you can just take a print shot or a print out of this screen and take it down to Best Buy. I believe they're matching prices now with Amazon, so this would be in your favor. But um, this is what we need. And specifically, the reason why you need this is this is going to connect to your router. And that's the Ethernet port right here. So if this connects directly to your router, it is now discoverable on your network to any computer connected to your network, rather it's, uh, whether it's directly connected to the router or if it's Wi-Fi as long as they're part of the same local area network, if this NAS hard drive is discoverable on the network, you will be able to access it. So you can, there's a lot of uses for this. You can have this set up as a backup drive or you can have it set up as a, a uh, let's say a media drive. Either way, having a, a cloud, personal cloud, st um, personal cloud um, storage device on your local area network is extremely convenient. So. I'm going to assume in this tutorial that you already have this NAS drive set up and configured on your network. And the only thing I'm going to do is show you how to set up Time Machine, which is Apple's built-in backup software, to back up your computer and store that somewhere else in the event that your computer ever crashes. So let's begin. To set up and configure Time Machine, now really this is extremely simple. Time Machine is found in two places. Now, the first place you should see Time Machine is in the top right of your computer screen, right here. It's this little clock looking icon. If I click it, mine is currently says, mine says it's currently not configured and it says Time Machine not configured. I can browse other backup disks or open Time Machine preferences. But the other place you can find Time Machine is under System Preferences. And System Preferences is located at the top left. You want to click on the Apple icon and go to System Preferences. Under the heading System, you'll see where it says Time Machine. Click on Time Machine. Now you see that I have my Time Machine turned off. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on just by clicking. Now, what my Mac is going to do is my Mac is going to browse the network to see if it finds any discoverable uh, NAS or drives that are able to send my backup to. In this case, it found my drive called ITC NAS hyphen backup. That's the naming convention I went with. So I know that that's a backup drive. If I select that drive, I can click use disk. 
So now it's going to tell me to authenticate with that drive. Now in this case, I set up that drive myself and I know what authentication creds I used. So I'm just going to go ahead and type those creds in now. So that's it. It says um, the Time Machine backup is ITC NAS. It shows my storage capacity, which is two terabytes. Oldest backup is none because I've never done it. Latest backup is none because, again, I've never done it. I can select options and I can exclude specific backups or add backups. Estimated size of full backup says it's 57.84 gigabytes. Now, keep in mind, folks, this is an entire backup of your MacBook. So in the event that you're going to be doing a serious upgrade, or if you want to be proactive and you, you, you cherish the data that you have on your system, you can do this local backup, and in the event that your system ever crashes, you're still going to have that, those precious family photos or photos from the wedding or your first child's birth or whatever it is. You're going to have access to that data in your personal cloud um, all for you know just under a couple hundred bucks and it's going to always work the beautiful thing about time machine is that it runs just seamless and it, it's easy once it's set up and configured as long as you leave your computer on time machine will run and it will perform its backup so i'm going to go ahead and turn my time machine off now because i probably don't need to do this um if you guys have any questions or concerns regarding Time Machine or Time Machine Backup or anything we discussed in this video, please leave them in the comment section of youtube.com forward slash IT Conflict. Check us out on Facebook. Our Facebook address is facebook.com forward slash IT Conflict. Join us on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT Conflict. And check out our website at www.itconflict.com. Again, my name is Eric with ITC Austin. We provide computer and IT solutions. Thanks for watching.